out to our car. A Toyota, some form of SUV. I don't even know what the brand is, or make rather. A RAV4. Here we go. Louisiana N647390. Here we go. That has been our vehicle on this holiday. It's been very comfortable. It's been a nice drive. Nice new car, relatively speaking, I assume. All the usual, obviously an automatic, being in America and whatnot. So yeah, it's been a it's been a good ride. Hello and welcome to another episode of a bright side today. We are at Disney's Epcot Center for the last time this holiday. Wow. So let's go check it out. I know, sad trombone moment. So yeah, let's go check it out. We're leaving tomorrow evening. We are. Mm. Ah, Epcot, how I will miss you. It never gets old. Like I say, it's very difficult on camera to to kind of give you guys the impression of how large this structure is. I said that last time we were here in Epcot. It is incredibly difficult to photograph and, and whatnot in that regard. So, I mean, you can see the people in underneath just how large this is. I mean, it contains an entire ride. I mean, there's the attraction in there that is Spaceship Earth. I mean, this is Spaceship Earth. Right, we've done some of our favorite rides here off camera, and now we're gonna head to the Starbucks here just to refuel, and then we're gonna hit World Showcase, which is where we didn't take you last time we were here at Epcot Center. So we really wanna show you World Showcase, take you around the world, all the different countries. I do like what they've done with the overall refurbishment of Epcot Center. Lots of people were saying, oh, don't change it too much, and this, that, and the other, and you know, I guess, for nostalgic reasons and whatnot. But actually, I, I really do like what they've done with the place. This is all nice and open and green and fresh looking. And I do love the the new, like what used to be um, like mouse gear and all that, you know, years ago. It's all part of, it was all Creations Shop now. It's called Connections Cafe, which is the Starbucks here. So yeah, I, I, I like what they've done with the place. So this is awesome. So here we've got Creations Shop and it's a very large shop. It's the main shop here at Epcot and we're gonna go past it and head into, like I said, the Starbucks. Just for five minutes, just take the load off. You end up walking so many miles that you actually do need frequent stops, particularly in this heat. The humidity has crept back in today. We've had a few days where it, has, where it hasn't actually been so humid. So it's been really quite comfortable, but that humidity has come back now. So you definitely do need to, you know, stop regularly, stay hydrated, blah, blah, blah. Made it to Connections Cafe, home of Starbucks here at Epcot. So hopefully there'll be a place to sit in the air conditioning because it is, yeah, it's really quite hot out here. And the line is massive. I think that's fairly normal though. It'll shoot through relatively fast. Got some nice items here for sale. The Starbucks, like right, this like tumbler thing there, $50. Ah, ready for the Halloween season as of a recording of this. I like these Discover mugs as well. I got one for Disneyland Paris, uh, the Starbucks one. And this one is for Epcot. Ah, a thing of beauty. What is this called again? This is a summer berry refresher. Excellent. And the fact that you ordered the smaller one did not escape my notice. Now, although we've only just had a beverage, we are gonna head across the way here to Club Cool. And you can like help yourself to like a, um, uh, what's that thing called? Not a freestyle machine, but you'll see in a minute. And you can just drink some beverages from around the world for free. And one of those beverages is Beverly. 
Okay, so all the machines are lined up against the wall. You get yourself some cuts. Well, you obviously got to the machines, get yourself some cuts and enjoy, or, or not, in the case of Beverly. Okay, Viva from Moldova. Beverly. Here we go for Beverly. This is the sour plum flavoured one from um, China. This is pretty ranked as well, if I've I remember rightly. Beverly. You've got Beverly, go for it. <laughs> I just don't know how to describe Beverly, but this, this was equally as hideous, if I remember. Burnt barbecue, that's just terrible. What's this Russian Sprite? Yeah, it's really cucumbery, it's nice. Oh, okay, yeah, that's all right. This is a country club from the Dominican Republic. That is nice. Right. Yeah, that's a nice one. Okay, this one is royal. So it's a watermelon from the Philippines. So this is the bonbon anglaise, which is from Madagascar. Yeah. It's clear. Okay. It's like drinking a pear drop. It's just sugar. Oh. Okay, well, should we swap? Which one is this? The... Uh, the Royal, yeah, from the Philippines. Oh yeah, it's just exactly like a pear drop. Yeah, if you know what a pear drop tastes like. Yeah, it's like liquid pear drop. All right, yeah, no. okay, I think I think we're done here in Club Cool. And the nice thing is that it's completely free. You can just go up there, grab the little, little mini cups, pour what drinks you like and enjoy or like a feather earlier on or not. Right, gonna head into creation shop. It's absolutely massive in here. So uh, we'll just have a little, little flick around with the camera. Loving these little shoulder plushes here that you kind of put the, I assume like the magnet underneath your clothing and then you stick him or that one or whichever one then to your, um, to, to your shoulder and you've got like a, a plush sitting on your shoulder. Nice lounge fly bag. In fact, there's a whole plethora lounge fly bags are usually about eighty dollars each they're a designer brand but there's like scoot round the uh, famalam yeah basically there's, there's loads of designs for lounge fly <laughs> that's quite cool oh, and figment one of our favorite characters i do like these um shirts these like ringer shirts that's very cool with the Mickey there, that sort of almost like retro Mickey, along with this counterpart in terms of different colour. Yeah, I think I prefer that one. Oh, and if I could get it home, I would look at this. It's like a big, massive cookie jar of Spaceship Earth. I say only, but you know, it's only $60. I would totally buy that if I lived here and had a kitchen here. I could put my cookers in because I think that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, okay, well that all cost a fortune and that was unexpected. Mm. <laughs> right, to World Showcase. Uh, you can either go clockwise or like anti-clockwise, can't you? you around... Can either go forwards or backwards. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> basically, yeah, so you either start in Mexico, which would be to like your left getting to it, or you can start in Canada if you go to the right. Well, for some reason, we always start in Mexico. So we always go around Mexico, Norway, that way. Um, so I don't see the point of changing tradition. Mexico, here we come. Here we have Figment, the dragon himself, unofficial mascot of Epcot Center. Amazing. Entering Mexico. Most of the pavilions haven't got a ride in, but Mexico, Norway, and France do. I don't think there's any more. I think it's the three of them. They were talking about a UK ride, but that got shelved um, with COVID and money and blah, blah, blah. But one of our favorite rides here at Epcot 
is the Grand Fiesta. Plaza de los Amigos, so let's head in. There's shops here, dining, and the attraction, which is over in that corner. So if you want some Mexican fare, and this is all like handcrafted stuff made in the country of origin. So if you go to Germany, the Germany Pavilion, all the stuff you'll get in there will be made in Germany. And it's the same here, all this stuff is made in Mexico. Okay, you don't often get too big a wait for the Grand Fiesta tour, but uh, evidently there are a couple of switchbacks here in you, so it might take, well, it might take half an hour to get on. And one day we will eat in this restaurant if you're in those seats, if you're lucky enough to be in those seats, you see like the river, the boats go past uh, for the ride. Okay, not too bad, took about 20 minutes. And um, Disney magic, we are now outside. Super fun ride, I do enjoy that one. Right, next stop, Norway. Leaving Mexico and the power and magic of Disney, we are now entering Norway. Although I must say, it's very hot for Norway. I also didn't realize it was quite so close to Mexico. Who knew? Ah, uh, you've got the gods of the Vikings building there. You can go through there. Have a little look at that in a minute. But we're actually after the bakery here, which I think is in, in there. Okay, gods of the Vikings. Let's get our way in. Okay, so basically there is lots of like, information regarding the Norse gods, some information on Freya, Loki, no idea how to pronounce that one, the eye of a god, gods of the Vikings, welcome to the mythical world of the Vikings, where powerful gods and goddesses shaped life and death, nice, yes I think this Thor is much better than Chris Hemsworth. I'm gonna head into the Kringla. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but uh, we're just gonna go with that. Kringla. A little bit of a line, but it will be worth the wait. We found our spot here in the bakery in Norway, and we went for a range of things. Um, we went for all of this I can't pronounce. So we've got school bread. School bread, lefse, lefse, apple cake, apple cake, Mickey and cinnamon roll. <laughs> so I would say the Norwegian bakery is some of the best value treats on property because all of this cost us twenty one dollars, which isn't bad when which you isn't bad for Disney, like Disney prices. I mean, so they are they, they are very large. Yeah, I mean, look at the size of that cinnamon bun. So basically, we're going to chop everything up and kind of sample each thing. I don't know if the kiddos are going to like sample everything, but I mean, well, we are. I'm gonna start with the lefse. I think it's pronounced lefse. I think probably a Norwegian would understand. So it's just like a flat, like roll, like bread with cinnamon and sugar and all in. Tortilla. Yeah, no, tortilla wrapped up, yeah. I like that. We'll have to see what's in our Norwegian cookbook at home and make like a Norwegian feast. Do you remember from our family tree? Research. You've got Norwegian blood. Yeah. Here is to Charles Hugh Nielsen, my second great grandfather. So you're digging straight into the apple cake. Hmm. Is it nice? Yeah, it is very nice. It's, it's good. got like a caramel drizzle on the top. Oh, okay. That looks nice. Right, we've got the school bread coming up now. It's got like a coconut topping and a custard inside. Looks really good. And like you say, for Disney prices, this was like four dollars something. Amazing. This is really nice. How is it? Mm. This is a good one, isn't it? Like the coconut is nice on the top and all. Yeah. Okay, last but not least, the Mickey cinnamon roll. Mm. That's very tasty. 
loads of cinnamon, got the creamy stuff there on top, the icing. Mmm, that's nice. Are you comfortable? So we <laughs> Right, so we have sampled all four of them. Which is your favourite? I think probably the school bread. Yeah. And then it's a tie-up between the apple cake and the left side. Yep. And then I'm gonna put the cinnamon bun at the bottom just because you can get that all the time. Kind of anywhere, yeah. I know what you mean. I think the left sir for me was was my favourite. Um, and then really kind of tied between these two. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, I know, and I agree. It's like, that was absolutely delicious. Oh, yeah. But again, it, you, you it's can. It's like trying to rate your favourite Disney park. Yeah. Like one of them has to come last, but it doesn't mean it's rubbish. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So um, sad trombone moment for the uh, Animal cinnamon Kingdom bun. Of the cake world. <laughs> yeah, looking to the cake world. <laughs> Right, so the Frozen attraction here has got a, a whopping 65 minute wait, uh, which isn't unusual for this attraction. So we are gonna skip that one. It's a lovely ride, um, but we are gonna skip it today because it's getting on a little bit and we haven't really got the time to hang around. Right, leaving Norway, next stop, China. So there are quite a few countries working around World Showcase Lagoon. I will, we're not gonna like focus majorly on each one because the, the video would be about four hours long. So we're just gonna kind of, you know, point and shoot the camera a little bit, show you guys kind of what each one looks like. But other than that, we're not gonna go into massive, massive detail. Beautiful centerpiece here to China. Now there is a show, Reflections of China. I can't remember if I've ever done it. I might have done it years and years ago, but um, I certainly can't remember it. So we'll, we'll try and find it and head in. I like the look of this facade. I might uh, redecorate my own home to look like this. Amazing. Oh yes, look at it in here. It's beautiful. And the air conditioning is fantastic as well. I mean, yeah, I mean, imagine walking into my home, into my house. I come in through my front door and it looks like this. They have paintings like this in our local Chinese takeout. Nice. Just gonna find out what the wait time is for the show. Okay, it's 6.50 is the next show so that's about a 15 minute wait so to be honest we'll probably hang around because like i said I, I don't remember this at all i might have seen it years ago like i've just said but i certainly don't remember it have just opened and we're heading in and this is what's called like a circle vision so it goes all the way around oh no i'm in the wrong no i'm in the wrong the wrong bit welcome i am Li Bai, our poet of the Tang dynasty hong kong ever on the move okay that was a fascinating show what did you think Parts of it look very beautiful. Say, beautiful country, yeah, yeah, nice. Hello. <laughs> Did AJ just say, are we in China? Yes. <laughs> it's like, no, we're in Epcot, China. Joy of tea. <laughs> this is very cool. Always, always loved World Showcase. Just every single, well, not every single country, but the countries that are here representing Epcot, all the way around the lake. Okay, next up, Deutschland. Ah, beautiful Germany, the home of Werther's Original. Fun fact. Also the home of fabulous beer and bratwurst, one of my favorite types of sausage. Okay, we're gonna pop into this shop and look at some steins. Oh yes, I've actually got a couple of steins at home. Um, they're, these, yeah, they're, yeah, you like drink out of them. I mean, these are obviously like a bit more ornamental, but I suppose ultimately you could could drink from them. <laughs> Do you mean yeah? Yeah. Oh yes. Do you, I think I suit that as well. That shell is just taking my picture, hence the moment of silence then. But I think this really suits. Maybe I could go around on the channel with this on. I'd look amazing, wouldn't I? 
Oh, the Chevy Chase moment where he got into his leader. What the heck is going on? Oh, yes, look at this Oktoberfest t shirt. Like to look like uh, Lederhosen. Oh, I, I think that's amazing. But it has Mickey Mouse written. It does, yeah, but that's okay. But it's got Epcot written there. Yes, I do love this Lederhosen t shirt. I'm going to uh, I'm going to buy it. Okay, yes, I absolutely loved that t shirt for, I think it was $34.99 plus tax. Amazing. Oh, I just love traveling the world, Epcot style. Next up, Italy. Beautiful Italy. I went to Italy. Uh, many years ago, before Shell Bell, I'd, you, we didn't know each other when I went to Italy. No. No. A bit of a laugh. Went with some friends, some good friends. Yeah, good times. Shell Bell, did you just mention pizza? Here in Italy, supposed to be some of the best pizza on Disney property. Did you say that? Should we go and check it out? We could do. I don't know what's going on. With, I don't know what gotten into him, but right now he's obsessed with pizza. Okay, right, on a serious front, this will depend how busy the uh, pizzeria is, because obviously if it's, if it's like teeming in there, we'll, uh, we'll probably skip it. But, oh no, she's getting in line, let's go. You have returned with the pizza, and I'm not gonna lie, don't care about that one, but look at this. This looks amazing. Again, not a bad price for Disney, it's so $9 or $8.50. Yeah. So actually, and you get, I mean, look at the size of it. I know, it's huge, huge. isn't it? It's, so, it's not too bad, not is it? Not a bad price. Yeah, good. Good pizza. Good pizza? Well, you should hope so from the home of pizza. How is it? Delicious. Aren't these made? They've got three pizza ovens in there, haven't they? And each pizza oven is named after the three volcanoes yeah. in Italy. I don't know. I didn't ask. Which... No, I mean, you've always got Vesuvius, haven't you? Is it Etna? I don't know what the other one is. Next up, the United States of America. Now, we've just had a geek load of pizza, so we're definitely not in the market for more food right now, but the Regal Eagle Smokehouse is supposed to be some of the best BBQ on property. So I've heard. No one in there performing at the minute, but they do have some relatively big acts in there from time to time. Now, if we were here with a little bit more time to spare, we were going and see the show that is the American Adventure. Fantastic show but I think we are gonna run out of time if we watch it tonight. We're not gonna be done really then by the time the park closes, uh, which is a bit of a shame because it is, uh, it is a fantastic, fantastic show. But there you go, can't do it all. Next up, Japan. Oh yes, look at that. That is very cool, isn't it? One day, one day we shall go to Japan because there is a Disney there. Right, heading into possibly one of the biggest shops in World Showcase. Oh, look at Yoshi, nice. Okay, I have no idea what that is. Oh yeah, we just figured it out, they're like origami things. That's quite cool. Yeah, you can buy yourself a face mask if you like. And again, like I said a minute ago, every product in here will be made in Japan. Every product in Germany, for example, will be made in Germany. So that's really good that everything here is, uh, oh my goodness, it's like someone drumming. Yeah, look at the uh, the cool socks that are um, like flip-flop friendly, you could say. wonder if one of these hats would suit me. It doesn't suit me. It does. Oh yes, I could see. Um, I could see me wearing that, and Shelley one uh, could be wearing that. AJ, Matilda, I should we should we get these clothes? Yes. Then we could be we could like wear this at home. I think some of these. I think this is like right up my street. I think this would look amazing on me. Yes. Nice. <laughs> the shop continues on into the marketplace, because I can read Japanese. I can read Japanese, yep, you can't see that written there. What the heck? I think that's matcha. Let me get this. Okay. Swamp water flavor. Yeah. Got all these like interesting Japanese beverages. White peach. Hmm, probably quite nice. Melon, lychee, strawberry. 
an original, whatever original is. Oh, there we go, citrusy flavor. Okay, that is a rather enormous store. Look at this. This is very cool. Let me turn around and kind of point the camera backwards. Oh yes, I might dress up like that and charge around Cornwall. Here we are, if anything is more striking here through this like Japanese style arch straight down onto Spaceship Earth that's now been illuminated because dusk is upon us. Yeah, beautiful. One of my favorite pavilions here is Japan. But we are going now to probably what is my favorite and that would be Morocco. Entering Morocco. One of my favorite pavilions here at World Showcase. He's amazing. I do like a decoratively lit palm tree. Yeah, this is an awesome pavilion because you can kind of almost like get yourself lost in here really. There's lots of little places to explore used to be a restaurant at the back, a Moroccan style restaurant, but to my knowledge, that has closed. I don't think that is currently open, which is a bit of a shame. Yes, no, the restaurant Marrakesh closed. Ah, uh, beautiful France, from Morocco to France. Ah, uh, the Eiffel Tower off in the background. How awesome. Shall we go shopping in Paris? Oh, yeah, yeah. Should I say, we, we, we. Ah, uh, how I like France. A beautiful country. Last December, we went to Disneyland Paris, so I'll link that playlist in the description if you want to see our Disneyland Paris videos. All done with France, we are now heading to the UK. But first, before we hit the UK, uh, I don't know, we've got to see because in a minute we'll be a fireworks show here. Uh, so we've got to see where kind of that falls in because we want to get a relatively good spot. Oh, look, Kicklin, hello. Oh, uh, woo. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> Oh, that's nice, a little impromptu meet and greet. They're going backstage now, how nice. We are just looking for the perfect spot to watch the fireworks, but everywhere is pretty busy. We have got a spot just by the bridge over there. We've just backtracked towards France. So I think that because obviously the crowds have increased quite a lot, I think that's gonna be the best we can do. You can pretty much see it from anywhere around the World Showcase. It's just obviously some places have trees that will obscure some of the show. But my goodness, that tree's on fire. No, it's not really. There's like a, a torch on the other side of it, but I digress. So I think we're gonna kind of be on that bridge between France and the UK. I think that's the best we're gonna be able to do. Well, we certainly didn't have the best of views, but that was a fantastic show. Very difficult to film, but it was beautiful. I mean, no one, no one does fireworks like Disney. There are two countries left on World Showcase. The UK that we've just entered and Canada. So we are, we are just going to whiz through quickly. I think possibly now some of the shops are all going to be closed. I'm not 100% sure, but on our way through, we'll find out. But the park has now just closed with the conclusion of those fireworks. So we will just kind of walk through the next two um, countries and then uh, pretty much call it a night because it's getting kind of late and we're all tired. Here we are in this very idyllic interpretation of the UK. Got the pub over there, Rose and Crown. Uh, shops are now shut like I thought because again, Epcot Center has just closed. So we won't be able to look in the shops here in the UK or Canada, which is the next country and last country in Epcot's World Showcase. Okay, 
entered Canada now. Blocked off there. I think they're doing some work beyond there, so I've heard recently. Uh, again, as of a recording of this. So, couldn't go back there anyway. And the trading post and whatnot and Northwest Mercantile are closed because again, it's gone uh, nine o'clock. The park has now closed. But there you go, through glass, you can see some Canadian merchandise. And thus concludes our walk around world showcase. We're gonna head out the park now. Beautiful, beautiful Epcot. How, how I shall miss you. One of my favorite, all time, all time favorite theme parks. We are gonna leave the episode there. I do hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to do all the usual YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, smash the bell. Check us out on all of our socials at the Bright Side. So from us to you, cheers and God. Creeping through the Florida swamps, lost. Oh, it's a car park.